What is going on guys? It is WrestleMania here, back with some more news. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including a major cancelled Elimination Chamber match revealed, a WWE star suffers medical flare-up, is Tiffany Stratton turning babyface, Finn Balor calls out The Rock, Finn Balor's gruesome injury, and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new videos on WrestleMania Shorts. Now first story looks at a major cancelled Elimination Chamber match revealed. On top of today's news is a report surrounding a major world title match that was unfortunately pulled from the Elimination Chamber card. Last night, Fight Force Select reported that the original plans for the Chamber event in Perth were to see Seth Rollins defend his world title against Bronson Reed. Bronson Reed was not at WWE Elimination Chamber and was not in Australia for the show. That was not the original plan. Reed tweeted this morning that his wife gave birth to their child early, although it wasn't the original reason he was off the show, as he indicated on Twitter recently. Fightful Select has learned that Bronson Reed was slated for a huge spot on the Elimination Chamber show in his home country. Originally, Reed was scheduled to face Seth Rollins in a World Heavyweight Championship match, hinted in the promos where he said he was coming after a champion that had no idea it was coming. Unfortunately, plans for the match were cancelled when Rollins sustained a knee injury and wasn't able to perform on the show. Rollins vs. Reed joins a stacked list of matches that WWE had originally planned for the show. It was reported last month that Brock Lesnar vs. Dominic Mysterio was planned for the show. However, when Lesnar was removed from any future creative plans, the match was scrapped. The show was also set to feature CM Punk, and it's widely believed that he was either set for a showdown with Drew McIntyre, or he would have competed inside the men's chamber match and would have likely won. This would have then set up the highly anticipated world title matchup between Punk and his arch nemesis Seth Rollins for WrestleMania 40. Next up, a WWE star suffers a medical flare-up. A former NXT Women's Champion Raquel Rodriguez returned to WWE this past week on Raw and it was also revealed that Rodriguez had been diagnosed with mast cell activation syndrome, which is often simply known as MCAS. Following her appearance in the Women's Chamber match, the talented star took to Instagram to feel that her MCAS flared up on the flight over to Perth. If you had told me on that long flight to Perth, Australia for the first time it was going to blow my face up and turn me the same colour as my pink satin pillowcase, might have been the makeup on Monday too, I would have still jumped on that flight. Maybe my trip didn't go as planned, but I'm still learning this new body of mine. A big part of being a female wrestler for WWE is getting to sit in that makeup chair with our amazing makeup team who I love so much and getting to get dolled up. It's part of being a girl. It's part of feeling fully the part. At the end of the night, I'm proud I went out there Alicia Keys style. Rodriguez went on to thank a local massage parlor in Perth, as well as thank the WWE medical team. We here at WrestleMania wish Rodriguez all the best and we thank her for opening up when it comes to her condition. Next up, Rhea Ripley pushing for WrestleMania 40 main event. As we head towards WrestleMania in early April, there will inevitably be a ton of discourse surrounding which match should main event night 1. We already know that Roman Reigns vs Cody Rhodes 2 will main event night 2, yet when it comes to night 1, it's hard to work out what match will take the prestigious spot. According to the Women's World Champion Rhea Ripley during an interview with Male Sport, she believes that her match vs Becky Lynch is strong enough to close out night 1. Mummy already main evented her WrestleMania. Why not do the next one as well? I think Becky Lynch and I stepping in the ring is Mania main event worthy. I really do. The last time we faced each other was NXT leading up to Survivor Series and War Games. That was Mama's time to shine and it's still Mommy's time to shine. Mommy is always on top and I proved that time and time again. She continued by saying, If we're given the opportunity, if we take the opportunity to be main event, I hope Becky Lynch is ready. She can cut me off and run her mouth and say that I'm a lazy champion. I just proved I'm not a lazy champion. I went out there and beat Nia Jax, the person that beat you. I also beat Lara Valkyrie, the person that beat you for the NXT Women's Championship. That's two for two. Want to make it three for three and beat you at WrestleMania. The confirmed matches in contention for the main event spot currently seem to be the aforementioned Ripley vs Lynch, Bailey vs Io Sky and Seth Rollins vs Drew McIntyre matches. There's also the chance that if The Rock and Reigns vs Rollins and Rhodes is made official, then that match will main event night 1. Based on social media discourse, there continues to be a strong push to see Bailey main event her first ever WrestleMania, yet unfortunately Bailey is barely featured in any substantial marketing for WrestleMania 40, so it's not exactly clear if the WWE have a main event slot for Bailey in mind. If WWE proceeds with giving Reigns and Rhodes two main events over one weekend, then this could lead to severe backlash as a portion of the fanbase will no doubt believe that two main events over one weekend is unfair to the other talent. 
Ultimately, if the WWE creates strong, compelling stories heading into the other top matches, then this argument will be hard to disagree with. What match would you guys like to see main event night one of WrestleMania this year? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, Kevin Owens talks tag title run. Kevin Owens has built a reputation for always being open and honest when it comes to his booking and his latest interview with Mel Sport is no exception. Owens discussed his 2023 tag title run with Sami Zayn and Owens expressed disappointment with the run mainly because a lot of the key and special moments weren't on pay-per-view. Me and Sami worked our asses off to give the main events on Raw every week that had people going wild and we succeeded. I'm not one to toot my own horn, I'm really not, but I think Sami and I did a lot of special things as champions that went under the radar because they weren't on pay-per-views. They were under the big bright lights, they were usually on Raw. Owens makes a great point and the common consensus amongst the fans was that WWE didn't deliver what was expected when it came to an extended tag title reign from the two fan favourites. There is still the idea of splitting up the undisputed tag team titles, so should that happen? Next up is Tiffany Stratton turning babyface. The 2024 Elimination Chamber saw Tiffany Stratton deliver a breakout performance. Stratton was one of the most over talents of the entire show and her work in the Women's Chamber match was superb. Stratton only had a handful of matches on the WWE main roster, yet the crowd had already gravitated towards her and decided that she's going to be a big player for many years to come. Based on the insanely positive reaction towards Stratton, there was a debate on social media yesterday regarding the former NXT Women's Champion potentially turning babyface. However, based on Stratton's promo across WWE's digital platforms, this isn't on the horizon. In a promo, Stratton would address the positive crowd response, but in a great twist, she would blame the crowd for not cheering loud enough and ultimately costing her the match. There's also still much more to explore with Stratton's heel persona, and keeping her as a heel, at least for now, is probably the right move. Stratton will no doubt play a major role in the upcoming WrestleMania 40 show, and there have been rumors that Stratton may have a 1v1 showdown with Bianca Belair, which has all the makings for a WrestleMania classic. Next up, Finn Balor calls out The Rock. Well, this is kind of unexpected. It appears that Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins aren't the only two WWE stars to have an issue with The Rock. Before the Chamber PLE yesterday, Finn Balor was seen asked by a fan on a beach if The Rock was going to be at Elimination Chamber, and Balor says, of course not, lazy mother effer. Obviously, Balor was joking with the insult, yet it's an interesting answer nevertheless. And this is considering their fan is just walking up to him on the beach for a non-kayfabe question. And finally, Finn Balor injured, and finally today on the topic of the inaugural WWE Universal Champion, there's been some concern that Balor had injured his thumb yesterday, as following his highly praised match against the new Catch Republic, Balor's thumb was heavily bleeding, but thankfully according to Brian Alvarez on the Wrestling Observer Live, Balor is okay. When it comes to Balor's WrestleMania 40 plans, based on the current storyline and direction on TV, it looks like he and Damian Priest will defend their tank titles against the awesome truth. But there you have it folks, the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know. Be sure to leave your comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.